We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Let us pray. Holy King, you have been God all by yourself. Nobody assisted you, even in the creation of this world. And you will remain God all by yourself. We know that the time will come when there shall be a harvest and everything shall be put in their appropriate places. The test in the lake of fire and the wheat in heaven forever. We invite you that you come and speak to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. We are taking our test from verse 30 of the gospel read to us. Verse 30. And the topic of today's message all over the Church of Nigeria is Preparing for the final harvest. Preparing for the final harvest. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Uh, let's jump to verse 37, which is the interpretation Jesus gave concerning this parable of the wheat and the tares. 37, he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man, the feed is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore he, as therefore the tares gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be the end of the world. The Son of man sent forth his angels. They shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend. And then which do iniquity, shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be will in a gnashing of teeth. 43. Then shall the righteous shine forth at the sun, as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who had ears to hear, let him do what? I know there are people who have questions in their minds, asking, where is God? Especially, uh, some of these video clips we see. Terrorists. Islamic terrorists. Carrying Christians. Video them. Cut off their heads. And people who don't understand God, we ask. Where is the God of these people? Also, in Nigeria here, we see the level of corruption, the level of oppression. And people are forced to us. When people burn up churches and destroy the children of God, where is this God they believe in? In a place where evil is practiced at its highest peak, people are forced to ask, where is God? And when you see some level of wickedness human beings perpetrate, people are forced to ask, is there God? Does God actually exist? 
and because of the level of sin and wickedness in this world, some people have concluded that there is no God. There are lots of atheists in the world today who don't believe the existence of God. I had a revelation some time ago, not very long ago, and I saw a man who carried heavy loads on his head. The loads were pressing hard on him, but he refused to drop the load. And the Lord showed me and told me, you see this man, he's tired, but he will never drop this load. That this time is a time of distress. That wickedness shall be enthroned. And men shall be burdened by their loads of sin. But they will never care to drop them. Instead, they will yearn for more wickedness. And in this time that iniquity abounds, the love of many is washing cold. And people are asking, are we sure that there is God? I want to tell us today that there is God. Even in church, when some people come, some will tie their head very well, perpetrate all the evil. Even in church, that some we are supposed to trust because of position, but rather turn themselves to wolves in sheep clothing and decide to give Jesus quick notice from the church. I want to tell us that there is God. He is silent because a day is coming that he will judge everything under this earth. They are coming to church to seduce people's husbands, to sleep with little, little girls who come to beg you for money. I want to tell you, continue. I just have one message this morning. It's in Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22, 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be our Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end of first and the last. If you are righteous, keep up your righteous work. This world will soon come to an end. The, the fools, they are blessed. Do you know why? They are always happy. Even when they see war coming, they could be drinking and enjoying themselves. As in the days of Noah, happiness is good, so they are blessed. Better be among them because. Their blessedness is like the mist of the feet. It will soon vanish away. But the book of Ecclesiastes says that he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. If you see, you will see things that will offend you. But the blind are blessed because they don't see things that offend them. But it's better that we see and be offended so that we can correct our ways. It is my prayer that the Lord will bless his words in our hearts. That whichever class we fall into, either the devil or the class of God, let us be very serious in the ministry we have given to ourselves, either in well-doing or in good-doing or in bad-doing. Doing bad or doing good. Be serious. Don't let anybody discourage you. Because whichever way the reward shall be in full. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name.
We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at hosannadavid at or info at egoeyeopener.com God bless you.